what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about halloween ends in this video here today i want to talk about the novelization that's out there regarding halloween ends because this novelization is just packed with details that could have made the Corey character that much more compelling even if he is misplaced in this trilogy i've said it many times in my review and in the other videos i've done since the review that Corey himself as a character i don't think that he is overly the most poorly written character is very compelling his downfall is how they have interjected him and just kind of dropped him in this trilogy towards the end when his story kind of works better as a trilogy starter and not a conclusion when you've already worked up so many other arcs related to other characters that are thrown to the side in favor of what they want to tell for Corey, which is why so many people were turned off by the movie. Um, not that the movie again is the worst thing ever, because I do not think the Halloween ends is a bad movie. I've gone on and said that you can probably say it's a bad Halloween movie. I just think that it's not executed in the best fashion and is misplaced in this trilogy. That really is its biggest downfall. So this novelization, again, it has the details that would have made Corey a much more compelling character, more so than he already was. Now, according to the novelization, Corey's mother, who suffered an off-screen death, presumably by Corey, would have had a dark history that's revealed. Now, it seems that as a child, his mother, Joan, or Joanne, whichever way it's pronounced, killed her toddler brother by accidentally moving his chair and causing the boy to die from the fall. Now, of course, this would just open the discussion of Corey inheriting evil from his mother because she seems to have done this based off of just pure jealousy that she wasn't getting attention from the family as opposed to her little brother, as that's how it usually goes with children when they were an only child and then a new child comes into the mix. But in Joan's case, she accidentally ended up killing her sibling. I think this would have explained a lot of the weird behavior that she was displaying in the film maybe not that that bizarre random kiss she gives to Corey but she could be living with like extreme guilt and there's a chance that Corey just reminds her of her little brother now again it would just open up the discussion of Corey inheriting evil from his mother but I wouldn't even go down that route if if if, if it was an accident genuinely I would just kind of just let the viewer play up that idea uh, in their head but I wouldn't be going down that rabbit hole at all because if it was deemed an accident then he's not inheriting anything from her some tendencies maybe but definitely if it was a flat-out accident no way so again she could be living with extreme guilt and there's a chance that Corey reminded her of her little brother and that's why she was overprotective and a little bit overbearing towards the child and fearful of someone being someone stealing him from her because she's she's living with so much guilt and projecting her little brother onto her son even though in a lot of ways again that makes it a little weird considering we see her kiss the boy during the movie uh because there's none of this still explains that random kiss in a deleted scene also just to touch on more stuff about joan and her demise that was off screen this deleted scene that actually depicts her death we get to see what again i'm assuming is Corey kill his mother and i'm assuming this is him only because of the fact that by this time michael would have had his mask stolen from that unnecessary tussle we had to witness it's looking like it's in Corey's house Corey's mom is watching tv so during this scene Corey's mom is watching tv on halloween night there's trick-or-treaters at the door but she's too busy again being stabbed by Corey as he creeps up on her dressed as michael myers and starts stabbing we even get to see the pillow stab take place that was highlighted in an official steal from the movie and according to the novelization Joan is actually killed by an unmasked Michael Myers during her demise. I prefer the deleted scene where it's safe to assume that that is Corey killing his mother since she was one of the people that gave him a hard time and he already had been killing people prior that were giving him a hard time in those group of band idiots that he put put to bed. Now, Michael doing the deed just wouldn't have had the same impact. The novelization does seem to suggest that if Michael was the one that ended up killing the boy's mother, he definitely was hunting him down after that, after his mask was stolen and was looking for the boy. So, Corey disposing of his mother to me is stronger narratively, only due to the fact that there's again those things that were already going on with Corey prior to him him killing his mother that back up. A much more impactful reason to have him be the one kill her he already killed those band idiots he was going around talking about if he can't have allison then no one can 
Corey's mom was also giving him flack and giving him grief over his exchanges with Allison. She was feeling threatened by Allison. She was very obsessive towards Corey and he had to get rid of her. There were three people that Corey seemed to think were in the way of him and Allison. One being Doug, Allison's ex-boyfriend, who we know is part of the Haddonfield PD. That, of course, also then being Lori Strode herself, who we know is Allison's grandmother, who had red flags about Corey. And then Corey's mother, who felt threatened by Allison. <laughs> so you had you had Lori feeling threatened, feeling that Corey was a threat to Allison. And then you had Corey's mom thinking Allison was a threat to her place with Corey. So those all three of them had to go because they were stumbling blocks in the way of what Corey perceived was a bond that only he should have with Allison. He was, he was going to go off with her. They were going to leave town and he had to take out all those people. So that's why narratively, Michael doing the deed just wouldn't have had the same impact. Corey doing it, given all the material they wrote for him prior and his mentality towards Allison and how Joan was acting about Allison makes him the one doing the deed a lot more meaningful and progressive. The narrative for it, I would say, with a lot more better continuity. Uh, so this detail about Joan killing her little brother, it's interesting. I think it could have made the parallels between Michael and Corey that much better depicted on or that much better if they had depicted this on screen. So I think that the character of Joan, if they wanted to flesh her out a little bit better, that would have been an amazing thing to include. But they didn't. They just made her this weird, overbearing mother who was seemingly either crushing on her son or knowing what I know from the novelization, she had some guilt built up in her that she was projecting onto her son. And if Corey left, that meant that her toddler brother that she is living with regret of killing would also be leaving again because of this damage in her head over what she has done. Also, it clearly would be obvious that she is struggling to forgive herself from the deed if this is what it is, because I can't think of why else she would be so overprotective of the boy with this newfound knowledge. If she was someone who was constantly reminded of this in her youth, her parents never let her live it down. And then she was finally able to have somebody new in her life that came from her. And she started to project that guilt onto Corey in a way to say, okay, this is my way I can make amends and say, I'm sorry to my little brother because she was never allowed to move beyond it in her youth because people might've been reminding her of it all the time. But you guys can let me know what you think about this little detail about Joan down in the comment section below. And what do you think about the deleted scene of Corey killing his mother? Do you wish they would have included that in the film? Do you also wish they would have fleshed her character out a little bit better? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description. I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.